Hey everybody, what's up? Um, it's been a while since I posted a video, but I'm starting one today that is pretty cool. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I just have put it off. I got a new speedometer with a tack for my van. Now, if you don't know anything about my van, go back and watch the videos, but it's a 2003 7.3 liter turbo diesel uh, E350 extended body. Bam. Updates on that later. But I'm swapping the gauge cluster for a F250 7.3 liter power stroke diesel that has a tack in the cluster. So there's plenty of videos on what I'm about to show you. So I'm just going to do a quick rundown. I already started pulling apart everything and then I was like, oh crap, I should probably uh, video it. So here we go. All right, so we're in the van. We're gonna have to remove the, you know, radio bezel, which as you can see, it's already done, but I'll kind of show you what you need to do in order to get it all the way off. You got two screws. You got one here, one there. There's also better detailed videos on how to do this. You gotta remove the um, light switch. Now there is a little press that clip toward the face of the light switch. So you kind of stick a little screwdriver inside that, in that little hole, push it forward, and you should be able to pull this thing off. Then, after that, kind of like a bezel, you just unscrew that counterclockwise, and that comes off. And you can start prying out the clips. So you start on this side, you pop them all the way off, comes all the way around the edge. You can take out the radio. I left it in while I pulled it out, then I reached under and undid the clips. Eventually that will get swapped out. But what I did end up doing was on this uh, cigarette lighter, I guess, I accidentally bro broke the clip on the back. So be careful with that. And then what you're gonna do is put your key in the ignition, turn the accessories on, put it all the way down to, what is it, first gear. And you can pull this thing all the way out, set it aside. So once you have that off, this is what it looks like. It's a good time to actually clean out your ducting, um, all the little, you know, wipe that off. But then you come in here and you got four screws now. There's one, two, three, four. Take those out. And there's one more kind of tricky thing you gotta do, um, which is with the, with that parking indicator that goes right there. There's two things you can do. One, what I did is just, once this is all loose, you're able to kind of get into here. There's two little tabs. And in order to take the whole cluster out, the easiest way to do it with all the plugs in there is you're gonna, again, put the car into uh, low gear. And then that should come right out. But a few things. So I'm gonna show you that little clip I'm talking about, which is on right here. So you have this little tab right there, boom. And there's another one behind this little white piece right there. Let's see if you can see it right there. You just push those in and this will pop out. There's three of them you gotta undo from the back of the speedometer. So once you got that all done, you're good to go. Take it to your workbench and we'll start working on it there. Hey everybody, so we are going to learn how to swap from a 2003 7.3 liter power stroke van cluster to a 2001 Ford F250 350 7.3 cluster. The difference is going to be the tachometer over here, and then obviously the gauges over here um, move from this side to this side. I went to a scrapyard and picked up some wiring harnesses so that I could do this for you guys and show you exactly how to do everything. All right, so these are the tools I'll be using. This is an eyeglass 
screwdriver. This is to de-pin um, the harnesses. And then this screwdriver just to help get the clips off. It's a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go ahead and turn around our cluster from the van, which is right here. And I'm gonna set this one, the truck one aside. <clears throat> um, I've already done one thing, which is swap out the odometer reading. Uh, pretty easy, I'll show you how to do that as well. So you remove it from the van. When you spin it over, these are some reference points to kind of notate. We have our 16 plug, which is A. The black one is B. And then over here on the right, which will be on the left when you're looking at it from the front is it's marked as C. So I did that for you guys so you can reference it. There's also gonna be written instructions in a link to a post on diesel stop that will help, actually a couple links that will help with all of that. So you're gonna unclip that So you can remove the cluster from the truck completely, van. So there's C, A, and B. So that's how it'll look like coming out of the dash. Now we're going to go ahead and remove these six screws. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is to swap out your odometer reading so that it's correct to your van. All right, in order to remove those screws, I have a, what is this? If it focuses, a 5.5 millimeter socket. I'm using a drill just to make it a little faster for us. I would typically do it by hand. Again, I already did this, so mine's already swapped out, but next, you want to remove the, the front lens of it. So you have tab here, tab here, bottom, two of them as well. Once that comes off, looks like that. And then there's one more tab that you could do. Um, not necessary, but it definitely makes it easier. Uh, you can remove, I believe it's that screw right there in order to get this clip out. So right here, this piece right here that I'm touching clips into this clip on the back. And so all you do is with your screwdriver, once you take, so let's see, it'll be like, get back in there real quick, kind of show you. Easier to do it this way. Okay, so when it's like that, this little tab will be clipped in to right here. So you just reach in, pull that clip down, pull that clip down, and then then you can separate it, and that that whole tab will come out. So you set that aside. Now you're dealing with this. So here's the cluster from the front. Good time to clean it all off too. So you're gonna come over here with a long screwdriver. Let me kind of set this up, prop it up like that. Grab a long screwdriver. 
and you're gonna end up prying carefully. So one thing you wanna note is what your actual mileage reading is. So see these tabs? Those have to end up in the same spot. You wanna keep your mileage correct on in re reference to here. Obviously it's different on the front. But you're gonna use this piece right here to use as a, your pivoting point for prying. I'm just gonna pop it up and boom, it's out. Now be careful because you don't want to change you don't want to change anything. It only goes like I don't think you can go backward. I don't think you can spin your mileage backwards. Yeah, it only goes forwards. So anyways. And then you get your your new one, put your mileage reader back in. Let's see how I move that. I'm gonna keep it all the same. Now this this part's a little tricky because you don't want it to miss. There's like a little groove in there. Let me show you. It's a little groove where the axle sits, right there and right there. So you gotta carefully lay it in there. Plus the gear has to line up correctly with the gear down there. Might sound a little, I don't know, might be the hardest thing about this, just to get it in correctly. See, like, see, it won't click in on the right, or the left side with the gear. Pop it out. There you go. So now it's in and it's reading straight. So cool. That part's done. Then you just reverse, reverse everything you just did. <clears throat> this is also a good time to change out your lights to LEDs if you want. Um, I wouldn't do any of your warning lights but like just all the backlit ones for like your speedometer, your fuel, actually maybe not your fuel. Well, like all the ones that are, that have the needles. So those ones would be the ones to change. Well, I guess it would be on the new cluster that you would change out. <clears throat> and then if you have this piece or this screw taken off so you can remove, or I guess all the boards, so you can remove the board. That'd be easier than trying to get this tab to bend into the little holder, into the clip. But definitely don't forget this part because then you won't have a cluster that works. I forgot how I did it. I didn't push it in. I don't know. It was definitely not as easy as just taking that piece out. But somehow I did it without doing it. <clears throat> Anyways, so you get that in there. Close it all up. Put your lens back on. Put the screws back in, and you're ready to go on to the the repinning process, which we will go over now. I decided to break this video up into two different videos, just because it became too long. The second video will show you how to repin, rewire everything that you need to, so that all the gauges, all the lights work in the proper spots. So look out for that one. Please hit share, subscribe, like, comment. I try to answer everything as soon as I can. It's not always that quickly, but I get to it when I can. Thanks.